good morning guys hello welcome back to my channel welcome back to like another cupboard in my kitchen i hope you're all okay it's monday morning it's 7 35 and i should be starting off this video with some breakfast oh, i forgot to say today's video is a what i eat a day and i should be starting off with some breakfast but i'm not i'm not gonna have breakfast today now i was thinking last night i didn't know what to film for this week obviously it's monday i need to do monday or tuesday but both days this week both monday and tuesday i'm busy like i'm off up out i'm just going for a meeting today and then tomorrow i'll be in the office all day um i don't know why i'm talking quiet because josh isn't gonna be able to hear me but i don't know that time of morning you just start this time of morning you just start talking quiet don't you um so yeah i was a bit like panicky of what i was going to film and i was like i'll just film what i eat in a day one of the easiest ones you guys enjoy them why not and then i was thinking well usually oh, i'm gonna take that hairband off i don't want that hairband on me and usually i don't like to like i usually have to like have breakfast so you can tell my brain doesn't wake up properly i'm like usually um mm -mm. usually i'll have breakfast uh with you guys for a what i eat in a day but I'll be honest, I don't want breakfast at 7.30, like I say, and I wouldn't usually eat breakfast at this time. I'm not one that can get up and eat breakfast. I have to leave it a couple of hours before I eat. So last night I was thinking, I just have to eat something just for the sake of it. And I thought, actually, I got in the shower this morning and I was thinking, actually, no, I wouldn't eat something today. And this is what I eat today. So that's exactly what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to eat breakfast. So I hope you guys don't mind. But just kind of shows it's very realistic what I eat in a day. What I don't eat in a day. Um, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to be late if I stand here and blab anymore. I've got to get on the road and be... I've got like an hour into like my meeting. And it's 45 minutes away and I hate being like to the deadline like a little bit late. So I'm going to do myself a cup of tea. That's all I'm taking is literally a cup of tea. Some... A bottle of water... I'm only, I'll be back by lunchtime, so we'll have lunch together, but yeah, it's just the morning stuff, I'm just like, no breakfast, couldn't think of anything worse than have breakfast right now, so yeah, if you hope you guys enjoy this one, if you do, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, but I'm off to work, I will see you at lunchtime. Good afternoon, it's now a little bit later, it's one o'clock, and I'm back, and I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want for lunch. I've got some wraps. I think I'm gonna have a wrap. I'm freezing as well. I'm so cold. I want to put my dressing gown on, but then I hate that. Like, if all about those, I've got to answer it. Like, I forget that I'm in my dressing gown, and I just look like a lazy old slob. Um. Anyway, I've got some wraps, but I don't really have any filling. So I was literally just staring into the cupboard. <laughs> don't mind that. Just staring into the cupboard, trying to find out what I want. I was gonna have tuna in a wrap tuna mayo but then i was like well i'm not here tomorrow to actually have some lunch and i don't really i know it'll be fine in the fridge until wednesday but you know what should i just make tuna i bet i don't even have tuna i bet you now now that i say that but i don't have any tuna i don't know I know what i want let me let me have a look because there's no use you have to stand here and listen to my dilemma let me decide what i'm gonna have and i'll show you in a sec what i'm gonna make right sorry i've just got a mouthful of cheese i've decided to make up something right it's not this kind of making up to be fair i saw it on tiktok so i'm gonna do it but i've had a mouthful of cheese because if you if you don't just eat the cheese then what are you doing? Right, I've got some eggs. I've got some egg yolks and some cheese. And put some salt and pepper in there. Basically, oh my god, I nearly dropped you then. Basically, I put my egg yolks in here and then put the tortilla wrap on top. Like, we'll let them cook a little bit. Put the tortilla wrap on top and then I don't really know what it is. Basically, like an egg heart like a tiny omelette on a tortilla <laughs> i don't know let me try it and we'll see i've never obviously made one of these before i 
I'm just winging it here guys so no judging over here okay right let that cook a little bit and then apparently we just put the tortilla in there there's gonna be a little gap there come on uh oh see in my mind we would flip that over and then put this on but that's not what they do in the video so I'm literally gonna put that on probably should have done it a bit earlier but put it on there let it cook a little bit more and then maybe flip it over and I don't know we're winging it but this isn't exactly very good for you to watch now so let me continue cooking and we'll sit down and eat it in a sec fingers crossed it's gonna be nice I keep chopping half my head off sorry about that right here is dinner not dinner here's lunch just move that load of flowers do you like these I think I showed you them I got them for my birthday I'll just keep them on my kitchen table I think it looks really nice a little bit of a dust in but anyway let me move that I've also, you can see in the background, I've also got my water that doesn't even fill out, but I try to drink two of them a day. Right, this is how it looked. This is not how I imagined. I thought it was basically, I said put the wrap on it, let it cook for a little bit, and then I want to flip it over. In my mind, it was just going to basically all stay there, but it didn't. So it's on either side, basically like a half on there. I don't know what it is, but obviously I'm going to put some ketchup on there too. Sorry guys, they're not at a great angle. I don't understand what's wrong with me. Let me move it here. If I move back. No, you still can't see it. How about now? You can half see it. Let's give it a go. So yeah, sorry, I thought it was gonna be, do you ever do that? You have a conversation and then you start a new one and then that conversation, it you forget about it. And it's like you, you've then ended up like three or four half conversations. Um, what I thought it was gonna be is basically a wrap that you literally like wrap it up, like a tortilla wrap. But when I flipped it, it didn't work, it half stayed down, half stayed on the tortilla. So we've just got it like that, but let me give it a go. Mmm. I'm strangely, not strangely, don't know what the word is. I'm something surprised. Can't think of the word. <laughs> really helpful for you guys, I suppose, but I wasn't thinking much of it, but that's quite tasty. For a lunch that I kind of knocked together, I'm quite pleased with it. It's annoying that I didn't buy any like sandwich bins. Why don't I have tuna? I swear I've got tuna. Tuna's always something that you always, you, you seem so far away. I'm gonna come closer because you probably don't even care about seeing my food. Tins of tuna are always something I always, like, always usually have in my cupboard. They're like always the backup, aren't they? I don't know where they are. Maybe I do, but I'm not looking in the right place. I've lost it somewhere. So when it comes to lunch, I've got the bread, but I ain't got the filling, which is very annoying. I've also got myself an apple, and I am gonna have some chocolate. I don't want any crisps. I feel like this is filling enough. I don't need crisps. Um, I'm gonna have a, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. I am gonna have some chocolate, but I'm not gonna have it right now. I'm gonna have it later, because more than likely I'll have like a mid-afternoon cup of tea or coffee, so I will have it then so I can dunk it. I'm gonna finish this off. Eat me apple. And I always say I don't need to eat it with you guys because it's an apple. It's a Granny Smith if you wanted to know. I'll see you in a few hours for some sort of some sort of chocolate mid-afternoon snack. Can you hear that? It's the kettle. It's time for some something hot. I'm gonna use this cute mug today as well. Oh, don't mind the steam. Um, mug, cup, glass. I don't know. You're the pumpkin to my spice. I think it's very cute. It doesn't hold loads though, but you know, it's enough. I'm gonna have a coffee. Um, I'm absolutely freezing. What stage are you guys at with heating? Is the heating being turned on? Are you bearing with it? What are you doing? My heating's on. It comes on in the morning and then in the evening. But to be fair, it's not really coming like on properly because um, I haven't set it like, sorry, the coffee and tea bits are below you. I haven't set it as like very high, so it doesn't really need to come on, but it's just, you know, sometimes it takes that edge off in the morning um, and then all day it kind of sticks the same temperature, but I'm freezing and I, since I've come home, I'm wearing jeans and this like thin shirty type thing. It's literally like basically see-through. I'm freezing. I think I might put my dressing gown on. Actually, no, I'm not going to because the reason I, I can't chill in jeans, I hate being in jeans. Usually I get home and I, the jeans are off. The reason I'm not is because I'm going to have to walk Sid when I finish work in about an hour or so. 
Um, I fill this up way too much, I can't even stir it properly. Um, and if I put trackies on, not trackies, I'll, I'll put pyjamas on. Or if I put my dressing gown on, I won't want to go back out. So sorry, that's probably really annoying that I'm making that noise. So yeah, I just have to be in jeans. Anyway, I'm going to go quickly because my battery's just started flashing. Um, so I'm having a coffee and I'm having some of these biscuits. Caramelised biscuits, they're from Aldi. The Aldi's versions of the Biscoff ones. I'm literally having two. It's broken, so very annoying. But I'm going to have two to dunk. But yeah, I better go do some more work. I won't be having anything else now until dinner time. So yeah, catch you then. Good evening. Right, it's dinner time. Just been out to walk Sid and I'm going to crack on and make some dinner. So for dinner tonight, I promise I will like in one video not just place you in my cupboards. But sorry about that. You're currently, you're currently in the glass cabinet. So anyway, dinner tonight, I'm going to have a chicken sweet and sour. Sweet and sour chicken. Why did I say that way around? Sweet and sour chicken. I'm using this sauce. I think it's from Aldi. I don't know. Um, and then I've just got some chicken breast. And then we're going to have some naan bread with it. I know usually you're probably thinking, who has naan bread with their sweet and sour? Me. I do. Because I don't really... Like, I like... Sorry, I'm going to have to take my ring off. I don't want to touch chicken when I've got, like, jewellery on. Because I just get worried. Now I know if I clean my hands, hands, if I clean my hands, I'll be fine. But it's just chicken that gets in the jewelry. No. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, most people probably have like a sweet and sour with like prawn crackers or something. I don't really rate prawn crackers. I like them. Don't get me wrong. Like you know when you go get a Chinese takeaway, and you um they give you a bag of prawn crackers. I eat them like on the way home, or eat a couple on the way home, and then I'm like, by the time I get home, I don't have them with my dinner. I just find it a bit of like nothing. Do you know what I mean? So like we'll have this, probably have some rice with it, I think. And then yeah, naan bread to dip in. Because you don't really dip prawn crackers. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I've got to crack on because it's supposed to be back in like 20 minutes. And uh, I suppose this doesn't take long anyway. But yeah, you don't really want to watch me cut up some uh, chicken. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this up. I'll show you all when it's ready what we do decide to have. In a sec. Right, here is tonight's dinner. Maybe not one of the ones that look so great, but I'm sure it's going to taste great. And then we've got this as well garlic and coriander naan. I wish you could smell it through, they're very strange shapes. Um, I wish you could smell it through the screen because the smell, incredible. I know it's only garlic, coriander, naan bread, but you know, it smells good. So I'm going to go and enjoy this and I will see you. Not too long for some pudding. Evening, it's a lot later. It's half eight, and <laughs> just literally had to kind of like you're gonna have to ignore the state of me. My friend, we're just gonna point her out. She's not actually my friend, like, she's not Markham here. Uh, anyway, I just had to basically pull myself from the sofa because I've been sat there for probably about 45 minutes in a TikTok hole. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, you just need, you just need it sometimes, don't you? <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say I was in a TikTok hole. Uh, so I thought I would come and have some pudding, obviously, and say bye to you guys. So I'm ending my day. Oh, they dinner, by the way, dinner was very nice. It, what did we have again? Sweet and sour chicken. For some reason, I don't have much of an appetite at the moment. I didn't eat all of it. Like yesterday, we had um, we had no McDonald's. We had two McDonald's this weekend. One of them was for you guys. One of them was for me to do a video with you. And then the other, we just couldn't be able to cook. Actually, it's because on Sunday I wanted to have a chicken nugget wrap. From, not chicken nugget. Chicken, chicken. What are they called? They're not nuggets, the longer ones, goujons. I wanted that in a wrap. Went to make the wrap and there were no chicken goujons left. Now I thought there was, I'd gone shopping. I even looked at them, I thought, no, we don't need them, we've got them. Last time we had them, Josh used the last load. Didn't bother telling me, did he? Didn't bother, <laughs> didn't bother telling me that he used the last load. So I didn't bother buying any more, so I was really annoyed. So that's why I was then, I was just wanting 
a chicken nugget wrap. Chicken select wrap. So I got a chicken wrap. Anyway, I can't remember what I was, what I was saying. This is what happens with my brain. Oh yeah, I had that. But that was at like 12 o'clock at lunchtime. And then it filled me up, 12, 1 o'clock. Filled me up. And then by the time we had dinner, I made dinner at about 8 o'clock. This is how much it filled me up. Like, who gets filled up by a little McDonald's that long? Made dinner. And to be fair, it was a hello fresh one. And last week, I think it was last week, I forgot to choose my meals for hello fresh. And sorry, I keep fidgeting around because you're laid down. So I can't just stand up like normal. So... Um, yeah, I forgot to choose my mouse, so obviously they just sent whatever, like, the random selection. And one of them was, like, a portobello mushroom with, what was it? Like, ginger and lemongrass. Was it taggy telly? Noodles. I think it's just noodles. I didn't like it. Like, I like mushrooms. You, like, cook the mushroom, put it in the frying pan, and then you put, like, the, it's like a ginger and lemongrass sort of, like, puree thing with butter let that kind of mix together in the frying pan and then like put it in the mushroom and then put the mushroom in the oven and I just thought it was kind of kind of soak it up and I thought like the lemongrass gingery sort of thing wouldn't be like very strong it was so strong it was vile it was disgusting but anyway I <laughs> I would usually like the noodles anyway but I didn't the story's going off on one but you know I've started now so we're gonna have to stop it we just have to carry on I literally had like three or four spoonfuls of it and I was just like don't even I was having it for the sake of it and tonight didn't have all of my dinner. This That's why I'm telling you, because I didn't have all of the dinner. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I think I've been awake for too long today that like I just can't function anymore. So what I'm gonna do is end this video, put you out of your misery, you don't need to listen to me anymore, and sit on the sofa and have some pudding. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. There's a few YouTubes on these cash albums. I'm gonna have these giant buttons. These, if you saw my video last week, I did an Audi dupe video, and they were in it. Giant buttons with caramel, so they are dairy milk, are they called caramel nibble dupe. They are really nice to be fair. I really like them. There's some cheap chocolate that is quite nice. And these are nice too. So I'm gonna have a small handful. Do you guys find, well I find it anyway, with cheap chocolate, it's a bit more sickly than normal chocolate. So you can't have as much. So that's always a plus I suppose. Anyway, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look horrendous, so I'm going to get off the screen. Here's my small handful. I'm going. So, thank God for watching this video. I'm not sure if it's a short one or not. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. That spray, by the way, that you just heard go off, smells amazing. From... I can't remember what it's called, but it's from Home Bargains, and it's like, their dupe, got loads of dupes in my house at the moment. It's like their dupe of like the Alien perfume. It's very nice, very nice. They also do a spray, like a body spray. Also nice, but it doesn't, you spray it on, and then you, two seconds later, you can't smell it. I can't smell it on myself anyway. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I'm going. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. That's all for now. So yeah, me and my giant buttons are going on the sofa for the evening and we'll catch you in my next video.